So the first of my 30 day challenges is cold showers. Oh, let me show you something, honey. Basically, it started with the show Limitless, a crazy film, and he has to take the pill to like unlock like brain power and stuff. But then there's this other guy, Wim Hof, called the Iceman, and then I was just thinking the same thing, and I was like, how can I? Now, look, it's just like. Oh, oh sh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, one sec. So basically this whole kind of like thought process came from, I watched the show Limitless. If you guys haven't seen it, it's a movie with Bradley Cooper and he takes these pills. These pills that unlock like percentages of his brain that have never been unlocked before. Not humanly possible. But then it got me thinking because apparently we, don't, we only use a small percentage of our brain capacity. How can we unlock more of it? You know, there are people out there, for example, Wim Hof, he's called the Iceman. Wim Hof is the reason why a lot of people do this challenge. But my thing is, so we've got Limitless, so expanding brain capacity, but also something that um, the Muay Thai coach told me when I did that bodybuilder does Muay Thai. If you come back to the corner and your body wants you to panic, if you breathe fast, you're already in the panic mode. Everything becomes, you know, chaotic. Yes. It's just clarity amongst the chaos. You yeah. need to find clarity amongst the chaos. So I got to thinking, most of my creative ideas comes from a warm shower. I get all of these thoughts and, you know, I wish I had like a pen and paper in the shower. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Oh. What if I was in that cold environment, in a cold shower, and I was able to have clarity amongst the chaos? Do me white thing, thing Will that expand how much brain capacity I'm using because I'm in an uncomfortable environment, still trying to do what I was doing in a comfortable environment? The worst idea ever. So I thought, yeah, let's do this challenge see whether we can make the theory reality. Also, shout out to My Protein who are sponsoring these, this series of content into, I'm gonna call it the Limitless series. I like that. But yeah, if you don't know, My Protein are a huge supplement company. If you guys are looking for quality supplements, then check them out, myprotein.com and use Gab35 to get a whopping, a massive 35% off. Anyway. Let's, let's get started. It's, it's not happening in the bath, so I don't know. <laughs> you know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? Oh, oh God. It's just that initial shock so not gonna lie the first few were literally like no more than like three and a half minutes long but then again i didn't go in with the whole lukewarm or warm to cold nah i bounced there and i went straight in cold <laughs> I literally have no idea what I just said. <laughs> Today was a bit easier. I decided to test the water, see what the temperature is, to see whether I was just being a big wuss. Yeah, I was, I was being a wuss. The funny thing is, I was in Army Cadets, right? So this is when I was like 15. We used to sleep in wet clothes outside in the snow. This was mid-February. I'm complaining about cold showers. What have I become? I actually felt like I literally had to just keep moving just to like keep some kind of body heat. Unless you think about it before you get in, the easier it is. Goes with a lot of things. Training as well. Training with Jordan this morning, and he said, oh, 
when it came to the final exercise, the burpees. If he stopped for a split second, he would like just lose all energy. It's because your mind has a chance to regroup for a split second and think, what am I doing? Don't give it that chance or learn to regulate it, which is the whole point of this. Drop straight in. Definitely completely different to the first day. The first day was like, if hell was cold, then that was what it would feel like. Now this actually feels, fairly decent. So today is probably gonna be the most challenging test because I didn't train this morning, it's Saturday and Normally I feel like slight advantages when I train, I increase my body temperature that I want to cool down anyway. But we'll see. Yep. <laughs> Took my breath a little bit, but not, not hugely. Like I feel in control still, it's just freaking cold. So in terms of the actual overall experiment, it was looking pretty bad at this point. Like there was no creativity coming, there was nothing that was even resembling some sort of creativity. It was more so focus on not being cold and get out as quickly as possible. That was all that was going through my head. And I was thinking, rah, was this all in vain? Like these cold showers, was it actually pointless? But then, this happened. Okay, so yo, it's it's actually happening. Like I'm I'm super excited. Like I started like generating ideas. I start ideas are flowing in a cold shower state. It's happening. The what is happening? I could see myself doing this past the 30 days, if I'm honest. I'm saying it tonight actually yesterday as well. So what do you think of this shower experiment? Yeah, sounds interesting. So uh, what are you gonna try? Sorry? I don't understand the question. I think my quest for everything, like everything's like flowing, I'm not like losing my breath, I'm like it's, yeah, it's, it's going very well, very well. It's going better than I thought it would. Oh, my watch. I hope this Fitbit is waterproof because I just drenched it. Ah! So after that day, I was happy. My experiment was going as I planned. I started getting loads of creative sparks. I started feeling more comfortable in the shower. But what other effects did it have over the 30 days? You're probably asking. It woke me the hell up. It gave me an unusual, like, mega boost for the day. Like it get like a like a new surge of energy. Initial shot. As usual. Alright, now it's just like. I feel a bit cold. Cold is. But kind of lukewarm cold is. Doesn't make sense, does it? No. Which then led to increased focus, wanting to be more productive, wanting and being two different things. Mm. What's weird, and I don't know how true this is, if I go in and I wet my body first, it takes longer to adapt. If I wet my head first, it's almost like my brain immediately sends signals to the rest of my body saying, INCOMING! Like for cold water, for the rest of my body to be like, all right, we've got this. I have no idea if that is even close to being true. As today is the final day of this challenge, I thought, let me see how long I can stay in the cold shower, which is comfortably. It goes. And I got 
board is not going to stay in the shower. Now a lot of the effects which were like a real shock in the beginning and it was just kind of like whoa what's going on what's going on it's kind of like now subdued and it's just like it's normal is that a good thing oh well, who knows on to the next challenge right you ready cool some ready bro. <laughs> Still freaking cold though.